Hi everyone. Um, say hello, Boo. Okay, so my day didn't go as I hoped, and my son didn't want to stay. So, so I thought I'd um, <clears throat> do some more follow-ups on me. So my last one, I was I was talking about um, the difference that a day can make. And I think this is very com a complex disease that we don't obviously fully understand yet. <clears throat> but um, it, it al almost seems impossible for the world to believe that somebody can be um, as bad as I've shown you and then suddenly be fine. Well, not, not completely fine. And I'm one of the lucky ones. Trust me, there's people that can't even, that never get out of you know, being bed bound and I'd been bed bound for two years. So I kind of know how that feels. But in in the hospital that I was first diagnosed at, which is an ME hospital, and I was, I was very lucky to have that because I live in <clears throat> where I live. There is an ME specialised hospital. They call it the boom and bust. Um, so the boom times are when, you know, you're able to do things. And the bus times are when you can't. But the thing is, I, I'm i starting to understand um, this illness as it goes along. Um, I've had seven years to track things. And, and, and it, it this is going to blow people's mind with ME now. The nice, what, what I'm about to say goes against the grain. It goes against everything I've been advised probably everything you've been advised. Now, I can't tell you how to cope with your, I can tell you how to try and cope with it, but I can't tell you what to do. So I'm going to cover myself. No, I can't. Give me kisses. That's a good girl. So I'm going to cover myself here and say, this is what I've discovered with my ME, and this is what I choose to do. Now, I keep on hearing which is fine for other people, that um, listen to your body all the time. Listen to your body all the time. Um, now, I've always been told that, like, in the um, bust times, when you can't do anything, listen to your body. Now, I'm going to agree with that, um, because the body will tell you, you know, I can't stand, I can't lift a spoon, I can't lift a cup, don't do it. In the boom times, I do not agree with that. This is going to cause a lot of controversy, but this is my channel. This is my ME, and I'm entitled to say, without being rude, what you know, what I believe. And I personally do not think that you should listen to your body in the boom times. And the reason why I'm saying that is because when I feel quite well... I think, oh, I can do this, I can do that. And I do it, you know, because I feel that I can do it. Um, and so I do. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? If you've been stuck in for weeks on end and you think, oh, I can go out, I can do some shopping. And when I get back, you know, I can maybe make a cup of tea and do stuff like this. And I'm saying in the, the boom times, when you're, if you get boom times, um, when you're feeling capable of doing things, do not listen to your body. Listen to your head. Because what happens is you do those things and then the next thing you know, you, you're down again. Um, so what I've started to do is when I'm in the boom times, like now, I'll still rest as much as I possibly can. And that, that, I don't listen to my body that says, oh, you know, you can go and do this. I don't, I don't do it. I'll do so many things and that is it. Because I know that my body is going to let me down if I keep listening to doing stuff. Um, so I still rest almost as much as I do when I'm in the, uh, when I can't do things. Um, 
but I rest in a different way. I don't necessarily have to sleep. And that's another thing that I'll be covering is, is people think when you've got ME, um, you just sleep all the time. Um, now I'm not, this, this, I have to keep covering myself because ME is a very complex illness. Um, you know, and I don't want to make a mistake and, and misguide someone. So I'm, I'm saying about my ME, I hate doing that, but, um, I have to do it because I don't want someone to watch my video and go, oh, I've done that and I'm in hospital. You know, I don't I don't want that responsibility sort of thing. I'm not doing it to tell people what to do. I'm just sharing it with the world to try and make them a little more aware of what's happening here. Um, so that's what I do now. And I find that's working better um, rather than going off on one when I've got the energy. Because I, do, I honestly believe, I'm not going to go into it now, that there is something seriously going on with this energy release thing. And like I said about, you know, people think, oh, you sleep all the time. Well, for me, I can get weeks where I don't sleep at all. And I'm fidgeting and um, all my muscles are cramping up. You saw the video. Um, I can't talk properly and I can't stop moving. And I'm exhausted, absolutely exhausted. But I can't rest and I can't sleep. And it gets worse and worse and worse. And it could be three weeks before I've had any sort of decent sleep because I'm twitching and moving all the time. So um, there's something to do with energy overload there. You get like you can't do anything and then you get a rush of energy and you're so tired. You, you can't fight it and your body just keeps moving. So it isn't always about being knackered and falling asleep at the desk and all these things that people think. It, it's, it's far, far more complex than that. So I'm going to start on the symptoms, which are very cold, my symptoms. <laughs> um, and that's what I you know, wanted to let you know about the boom and bust times. And that, you know, like I said, is just mainly means when you can't do stuff and when you can but I'm saying we tend to get too much energy at some point not the sort of energy where you feel good and you want to go and run a marathon or go swimming but the sort of energy where you can't stop moving muscles and twitching and you know I don't really want to describe that as energy but it's like an overload like one minute you've got no energy at all and like I can't even lift a spoon to feed myself or to coordinate it. And then the next minute I've got so much going through me that I, I'm, I can't speak and I'm stuttering and there seems to be too much adrenaline, energy, whatever you want to call it. So, um, yeah, read up on the boom and bust. Um, I've always been told to listen to my body, but I don't listen to it when I'm in the boom times now. Because I know that I'm going to fall flat. It's like my body's fooling me. It's like, oh, here, you know, we'll give you loads of energy. I'm oh, okay, I'll use it, thanks. And then I can end up six months in bed. And the other thing I quickly wanted to mention as well was I find that, see, I'm talking fast now. So I know that I'm overdoing it. But it's like I can't stop myself. Um, I just can't seem to control it. You know, my partner goes, oh, you know, and he'd give me a card and say, look, you know, here's your yellow card. When are you going to calm down? It's just like I can't stop myself. It's ho it's horrible. Um, And I can't explain it. I don't know why. It'd be nice to know if it happens to other people, you know, because I don't meet other people with me. I don't, you know, meet with them or anything like that. So that's another thing. You're kind of isolated, aren't you? But But that's what I get anyway. And I'll list some more of the symptoms later on. I'm going to have to write some of them down, I think, because they need explaining. And I'm learning all this over a period of seven years um, and starting to suss out my body and what could possibly be going on here. Um, and it's really weird. Um, I know my brothers won't mind me saying this, but one of my brothers, I've got suspected ME, my other brother was um, diagnosed with yuppie flu years and years ago. And um, he gets, he's working and everything, but he gets two weeks when he's okay and two weeks when he's not, which is odd because that's how I started. 
Um, he doesn't accept he's got it, which is also how I started. I just hope one day he listens to me because I don't want anyone to end up like this. So anyway, I've, well, I've gone well over my time and um, I'll speak to you all soon and take care. And I'm hoping to go out tomorrow and get some Christmas cards. So wish me luck. Anyway, keep smiling, guys.